Right now, dancers at the Houston Ballet are hard at work rehearsing for this weekend's premieres. It's a show made up of three different performances that showcase choreography and music from around the world. Here to tell us about this unique performance is here to coming together is Vanessa Chumley, who's the stage manager and assistant production manager at the Houston Ballet. Thanks so much for being here. Of course, thank you. Before we talk about the premieres. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your gig, your okay. job with Houston Ballet, because as a manager and ass assistant production manager, stage manager, mm -hmm. I mean, you're in charge of the entire production behind the stage, right? That's true. I am. I basically take the decisions of the choreographers and the de designers and make sure they all happen and make sure they happen seamlessly and beautifully. And I'm backstage on a headset with all of our crew and I call all of the cues for everything you see that happens on stage. So zero pressure <laughs> at all. It's for super any of low these key. Performances. It's really low key. Yeah. <laughs> you, it is a ton of work. It, it is a ton of work. Yeah. I mean you have to think about everything that goes on on stage and if, if we don't see you then mm -hmm. it's and then it's seamless, right? Exactly. There could be all things happening just kind of like T V world. Yeah. Um, and this is a picture of you in your in your spot, right? That was a picture of me uh, demonstrating all of the different communication devices that I have to use. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Yes. I feel lucky that I've spent a lot of time down at the ballet, and so I know just you know how much work goes into pr the production. People think of you know the talented dancers on the stage, mm -hmm. and obviously the the shows center around them. But there are so many people. There are so many people working behind the scenes. What happens when things go wrong, or like have any weird things ever happened? Weird things happen all the time. Every day, right? Every day. Um, I had never had to stop a show in my whole career before last year, and then last season I had to stop a show three different times, uh, one of which was because the power went out in the theater, the second time was because a fire alarm went off, and the third time was because somebody in the audience was having a medical emergency. Um, Obviously, those are the big show-stopping things, but there right. are all kinds of things that happen backstage that the audience never knows about. So, and that's why you're good at what you do because the audience doesn't know. Yes, yes. <laughs> hopefully they don't know. It's great. Do you have any like a pre-show ritual or what happens pre-show for you? Um, I kind of just try and well, I make sure I, tr I eat a good meal. Yeah. Um, and just kind of like take a second to calm, be calm, and meditate a little bit before the crazy. Um, that's it, basically. And just as the dancers are learning, you know, their their choreography for each program, I mean, a show like Premieres, which has so many different moving parts, mm -hmm. it's sort of like learning three different shows because you yeah. have three shows in one. Let's talk about the first one. It's mm -hmm. called Come In. Yes. It is. Um, Come In is a great piece. It's the choreographer is uh, Azure Barton. And she has worked for Houston Ballet before. She did a piece called Angular Momentum, which we're actually doing next season. Uh, and Come In is beautiful. It's 13 male dancers, only men in the ballet, and the music is, is really beautiful. Uh, it's very simple, but um, I think it's, it's great. What is so great about premieres in a whole is you're seeing these three different very different pieces mm -hmm. in one ballet. It's a, a great yeah. intro piece, right? I think so. I think these kinds of mixed rep programs are really the best for first-time ballet comers because um, you do get a little bit of everything um, you're not sitting through a, a really long so each each uh, piece is only maximum 30 minutes um, and you, you get a taste of all kinds of different things and so it's kind of like the appetizer platter of ballet. Right. So. Or a buffet, as Courtney buffet. might call it. A uh, okay, we just chatted about Come In, which has all the male dancers. Mm -hmm. uh, the second piece, Dreamtime, has three women and two men, so yeah. a smaller ensemble mm -hmm. there. Yeah, and Dreamtime is, um, it's a great work. Um, the choreographer is Yuri Killian, who has a long history and um, plethora of works. Uh, this piece, Dreamtime, premiered in 1983, so it's had a long history. It's been performed all over the world. And um, the uh, composer is Japanese, uh, Toru Takemitsu, and I think it's really beautiful. And the, the third piece, Reflections, is basically a little bit more kind of upbeat. It is. Say? It is definitely upbeat. Um, and the first two pieces are Houston Ballet premieres, but the last piece, Reflections, is a world premiere. Uh, never been done before. And choreographer is Justin Peck, who's a Tony Award winner, and he has collaborated with the composer who is... Sufjan Stevens, um, and they've collaborated before on, on many pieces, one of which we've done before. 
and yeah it's a really beautiful piece and even just watching uh, the video from the rehearsals it's like the rehearsals themselves they are so beautiful right I could watch that and be satisfied but to yeah. see it all come together on stage the magic of what you do behind the scenes Jessica keeping everything on track it really is pretty incredible so let's talk a little bit about the details because uh, it's all starting this week on Thursday yes, right the 21st yes. yes we open on Thursday we run through Sunday so it's a one weekend event Okay, and one you need to, to see, see it. it. Yeah, because it is it's a great sampling of the work and different pieces to really kind of figure out what you like mm -hmm. if you don't know. So yeah. there's the info there on your screen starting this Thursday, March 21st again through Sunday the 24th. One weekend only Wortham Theater. The number is on your screen 713-227 Arts or you can visit them online at houstonballet.org. Vanessa, thanks again of course, for thank stopping you. by. So interesting to hear more about your job. I thank know. you. Thanks so much.